This video is just going to be covering the installation and setup of the new Patreon shader format. So now we have inside the Patreon folder, which is this. When you download it, you'll see a Patreon Tune add-ons folder. And this was created to solve some of the issues with Patreon shaders that rely on Tune. So the main issue is that Tune updates and the Patreon shaders don't. So Tune will update and get all these cool new features, and then when people want to use one of the features from the old uh, from the old Patreon shaders, the the Tune shader doesn't look as good as they're used to because it's older, and some of the new things that they may be used to using are just not in that old build. So I wanted to make a way that the um, the Patreon shaders could automatically update with the Tune shader and not cause any issue, and I was trying to find a way to make that simple. And the solution I came up with was this add-on folder. So basically, these shaders store everything that is not the same as the Tune shader. And then when you add them into the Tune shader folder, right here, so if you go into Poyami Tune shader, and then shaders, you can just drag the Tune add-ons into the shader folder, and then right-click them and re-import. And what this will do is add under Poyomi, Tune, Add-ons, you'll get these extra shaders. And because these shaders only have what the Tune shader does not have, it means that when you update the Tune shader, it should update all of these ones automatically. And I'll be checking them and making sure that they update properly and all that. But I don't have time to fix all of the old Patreon shaders, and this gives me a way of keeping the new ones up to date. So I'm going to try and slowly move the older Patreon shaders into this new format so that they'll constantly be updated. Uh, and just one thing to note, make sure that when you move it over here, you right click and then you re-import. That just kind of refreshes it. There's another issue where if you leave them here and you just try to you just try to use them like you go in, they'll still show up in your menu over here. When you do that and you show it on screen, it's going to be broken, but in 2018, I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but it doesn't just show like the pink shader. <laughs> Rather than doing that, it just lags you really, really bad. So the shader doesn't work and it's broken, but your Unity will just die as long as you have it on the screen, even just like the material box down here. So. Watch out for that, and if that happens, all you need to do is just not look at the shader on the screen. I'm going to try and figure out more about that and see if it's related to me, but I don't know yet, so we'll see.